Hey everybody, it's Luke, back with another figure review, figure and accessory review. Uh, I've got the Action Force uh, Special Ops Republic Guard and the Riot Gear set. Um, this is the Action Force Kickstarter thing, I think it was a Kickstarter, um, but uh, I got these from Dorkside. And uh, taking a look at the packaging here, you can see them on the little rotating table. On the back we've got, uh, you know, just kind of what's in there, the contents. If you want to take a pause and look at that, you can, or if you want to do the read up on this one, you can go ahead and pause that um as well there's a lot of words on that so uh a lot to read i'm not going to read that to you but if you want to pause that you can go ahead and do that right now but anyway taking a look at the rest of the packaging we've got barcodes on the bottom we've got uh, some artwork on the side uh that on the back action force on this side on the top you've got action force valiverse and then over here kind of the same thing uh you got the nice picture of it on the front there and then on the top action force side action force on the other side you get some artwork of what's inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack these things open and we'll take a closer look. And here it is out of the package. And taking a closer look at kind of what it comes with, this is just the figure itself, not the accessory pack. And um, we've got the base figure, we've got an alternate head. Uh, so you can either have them be uh, white or African American, either way. Uh, we have three, four sets of hands, I guess, total. We've got two fists, we've got two of these, uh, I don't know, kind of open hands, I guess that's for like gun holding. Uh, like if you're holding like the stock of the gun. Uh, we've got two gripping hands that are for accessories, probably like a knife or something. And both of those are hinged to go in and out the regular way. And then we have two trigger hands, uh, which the hinges on those actually go up and down uh, like they're supposed to. So that's pretty cool. Um, and the heads do swap out pretty easy. I did find that the alternate head that it came with, um, oh, and we get this base stand that says, action force and a nice you know kind of a steel plated looks like a toolbox kind of design dropping that all over the place but the uh the heads do pop out pretty easily those are pretty easily interchangeable i do find that the one that uh alternate head that came with it is a bit tight to get on there i happen to really push to kind of get him in place Ugh. i don't know if you could hear that pop there but the alternate head is very tight i think that with a little heat that'd probably be a little bit easier uh, so I'm going to keep the original head on there for just for the review purpose so that I don't uh, have to fight that the whole time. And it may be because it's kind of cold outside. These were just delivered today. And uh, because it is cold outside, they may be a little stiff. Um, so yeah, that's the figure himself. As far as popping out the hands, haven't tried that yet. So that's actually pretty easy. So you can do that. I'm going to give him a uh, rifle holding hand on this left side. And then we'll give him a trigger hand. A little tight uh, in the right side, but uh, yeah, those pop out once you get them out, they pop in pretty easy. The new ones, so this is all that the figure comes with the base figure. And this is about I want to say it was 20 something dollars, um, 20 or 30. Eh, I guess it was about 20. Anyway, it doesn't matter, however much he is, um, that's just what the base figure comes with is these accessories that you see here. Now, I'm going to take these off to the side for a moment, and I'm going to show you what the accessory pack comes with. So the accessory pack, you get a helmet, which is fairly nice. It's got little uh, night vision goggle looking things or maybe some you know, infrared, whatever. And you can flip those either way to where they're either up or down. There's a nice little peg in there. And you did have to peg, I did have to peg in the sides here. Uh, one thing to note, whenever I was pegging this one and I pushed it with my nail and it did leave a little nail indentation in there. So be kind of careful whenever you push those on, maybe heat them up again, you know, put a little heat to it and that should be okay. But the helmet fits on very well there's nothing that secures it in place but once you get it in the right place you can kind of tell where it's supposed to be and that looks pretty good and then if you flip the eyes the opposite way and you put it back down you can tell where it's supposed to be because it goes over the eyes and again that looks pretty cool very special ops very militaristic looking so i like that the helmet's cool so we get the helmet with the goggles we also get a vest and this vest is pretty neat uh it just kind of goes over the top there just like the G.I. Joe Classified, except for it's got a nice little button on the side to where you can take it on and off and you don't have to have it on there all the time if you don't want to. Uh, one thing with this vest, it does kind of look like it's going to inhibit the articulation a bit, and we'll get to that in a bit after the accessories. Um, one thing to note, mine is very stiff. Again, these just came today. Uh, they were outside in the cold, and they just recently got brought in. So it is a very stiff kind of plastic. I think with a little heat, that'll warm that up a bit but I cannot get these pegged in. I'm gonna to have to hit it with a hairdryer or some hot water to try and get those pegged in. So the side on mine right now will not close, but I don't think that's a long-term issue. I think that's just a, it's gonna to have to heat it up, do a little bit of 
to give it a little bit of love before it'll, you know, do what it's supposed to. So with that off, you can see um, pretty good detailing on the vest. Got some little straps that are painted on there. Got the chest plate. Got some pouches and things. Those are all different colors and stuff, which is nice. I like that. Uh, I believe they're different. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're all cast black. It kind of, the light's hitting it and makes it look almost kind of like an olive green. But I do like that either way. There's a little bit of contrast to that. There's a knife sheath in the back. And there is actually a knife, a little tiny knife that comes with it. That's pretty cool. It's got a little serrated edge. Looks like a very combat sort of militaristic knife, and that plugs into the back fairly well. Uh, we also get two additional uh, ammo magazines, and those are fine. Those go with the next accessory that we have, which is the rifle. And the rifle looks pretty good. It's just cast in a matte black. Um, little glossy, like maybe a semi-gloss uh, on that, but it looks mostly matte. And then the, uh, the magazine does come out to where that is interchangeable if you want to do that. One other thing that I did notice on this, it does have a borehole in the end. So if you do have any of those accessories to plug in there, like the Mesco or anything, it'd probably work in that, which is cool. So we get a nice gun there. We also get a thigh holster uh, for the other gun. So this other gun is kind of a Nerf looking, militaristic looking thing, but not really any gun that I've ever seen. I think this looks kind of like an AK, but uh, this, I don't know what this is, um, but it's pretty cool. It's also got the borehole in the end. And it does fit into the holster fairly well. And it looks like it's supposed to be one on the left side, just based on the way that that's faced and everything. So holster and gun there. We also get a other uh, pouch thing for the right leg. And it just looks like some sort of like, maybe like a little medical kit or something. Uh, again, all cast in black, um, nothing too crazy there. Uh, we get a backpack and that does plug in fairly nicely. It's not going anywhere whenever it plugs in, which is nice. Um, you can rotate that if you wanted to, I guess. Uh, and there is a peg hole in the back of the vest to where you can plug through the vest into the back as well. And it should hold on there pretty well. So pretty good accessories so far. And then we get one more. And I don't know exactly what this is. Uh, I think this might be like a shoulder strap for the rifle is kind of what I'm picturing here. Um, I think maybe it goes over the top. If you were to take the head off and put this like so. I may be totally wrong on this because this is not one to really work with me here. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a belt accessory and now I've got it stuck. Um, I have no idea. If someone knows what this is, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to go behind the camera and try and get this off. So I got that off there. It looks like it may be a belt piece, um, but again, I have no idea. I don't know that this torso pops apart or anything. I haven't tried to pop it apart, so I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, if somebody knows, again, if you want to let me know, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, let's put the head back on. Before I do, you can see that at the top of the head, there is a uh, ball and a hinge that that sits on. So with that, you do get a fair amount of up. You get a pretty decent amount of down. You do get side to side as well. You don't really get much pivot, maybe just a tiny, tiny bit if you force it. Uh, at the arms, they are uh, hinged to go out to a little past 90, which is nice. Uh, they do do a full rotation around. There's a butterfly that comes in fairly well, goes out fairly well. You get a bicep swivel, you get a double jointed elbow, and the elbows are pinless, which looks pretty nice. One thing I didn't really talk about is the sculpt on this. The sculpt is also very nice. Um, got kind of like this, you know, mix of matte and gloss and different blacks um, that kind of give it, it just looks like a generic suit, you know, just like a black outfit. Uh, but I think that works for what they were going for. It's a special ops guy. Doesn't need to be crazy. A lot of wrinkles, a lot of details sculpted in there, which is really nice. Uh, and then gloves on the hands. Everything's really nice. It's just, uh, you know, very kind of plain. But that's what this character is supposed to be. Uh, so anyway, uh, double jointed elbow. And then we get the wrists that are hinged to go out and back. And they do do a full rotation as well. And I did show you all the other hands. These uh, trigger hands, again, are hinged to go down and up like they're supposed to. So that's nice. At the uh, waist, you get an upper torso rotation, and then you also get pivot there, so you can go side to side and back and forward. And it's a double ball on there, so there's one at the top here and then one at the bottom, so you get a pretty good hula hooping action as well. And there is a rotation at the bottom. It doesn't go all the way, well, maybe it is if you force it, but most of the rotation is going to come from the top anyway. Uh, one thing I have learned is that it's kind of hard to get this into a neutral stance once you've been messing with it because it doesn't want to line up just right. But 
you know, that's not a huge issue. Uh, you just got to play around with it a bit. At the hips, they do go out all the way, full 90. That's awesome. They do go forward all the way, full 90, maybe a little bit better than 90, which is awesome. They don't really go back. They run into the butt there. And the butt is a harder plastic. It's not soft like the classified series. So just be aware of that, that uh, that's a harder plastic and it's not going to give at all. Uh, there is an upper thigh rotation. Oh, and the hips are drop down as well. So you can, if you want to try and get them up even further, you get a little bit of extra range out of that and a little bit of extra posing. So they are drop down hips in there, but they do work, I think, better than the classified series because they don't feel like they're going to break whenever I rotate it. They feel good and tight, but they don't feel fragile, if that makes sense. Uh, anyway, upper thigh rotation, you get a double jointed knee that comes in pretty much all the way. I mean, very far, as far as you're going to need it. You get a boot rotation, and then you get ankles that are hinged to go down. They go up just a little bit, and then you have a ankle rocker pivot as well. For a size comparison, here he is next to the G.I. Joe Classified Series Major Blood and then Breaker. And you can see those are both like kind of average size characters for the G.I. Joe line. And uh, he fits in pretty well with those. Um, almost the exact same scale. If you had these guys posed together, you really wouldn't hardly be able to tell that they're from a different line uh, almost because they look so in tune with each other. Um, so yeah, good scale there. To keep with the all black theme, here he is with the Marvel Legends uh, black suit Spider-Man. And that is on the pizza uh, Spider-Man body. And then we also have the Mezco 112th Collective Black Skulls Death Brigade. And I've got the symbiote Spidey head on that as well, because I think it just looks really good. Maybe he's like the leader of a squad of these guys or something, you know, ultimate hit squad there. But I think those uh, also scale pretty well, because those are both in about six inch. And you can see he's a little bit taller than this one, a little bit shorter than this one. So he's kind of right there in the middle of that six inch scale. And just for a larger scale comparison, here he is next to the McFarlane DC Multiverse uh, Lobo. And that is in a seven inch scale. And you can tell he's definitely, he's a big guy anyway. And uh, he's a lot bigger than this dude. <laughs> and finally, for our last size comparison, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Union Jack, which utilizes the Bucky Cat body, as well as the McFarlane Fortnite Skull Trooper, which uh, is in a seven inch scale again. Uh, you can tell he's pretty much almost exactly the same height as the Bucky Cap, which is pretty good because that's what I consider six inch. That's about middle of the range, six inch. And, uh, they look good together. They look like they uh, go together, you know? So that's it. That's the uh, new Valiverse Action Force uh, Riot Gear Set and Special Ops Republic Guard. Um, and I think that if you, you can't really get one without the other. The accessory pack might be good for some G.I. Joe stuff. You could probably work that in. Um, you know, if you had like, say here's Breaker uh, with that leg harness, you could probably make that work on the G.I. Joe's. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you just need accessories for your Joes, you could go with the accessory pack and it'd probably work okay. It's a little loose because those legs are a little bit thicker, um, but some of the bigger characters probably wouldn't be a problem. But uh, I think that they really go together well, uh, and I think this is an awesome set. Um, 30 something dollars, I think it was like $34 for both the accessory pack and the figure shipped, um, and uh, that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, and it just, uh, some cool accessories, couple of cool guns. Um, I like the helmet a lot. I think the helmet's one of my favorite accessories because it just looks really cool with that down and with the eyes in there. Um, I think that's just kind of neat. It's got the little side flaps and everything. Very tactical, very SWAT team. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, and I definitely think it's worth checking out. If you like the G.I. Joe Classified, if you just like good action figures, if you're into the six inch scale and you just need some you know, some SWAT guys or some special ops dudes to kick in doors or fight your good guys or fight your bad guys. Um, I think there's a lot of applications for these that you could put them into. Um, they had this, I think they had a blue one and maybe a camo one as well. Uh, I may be picking up some more of these, honestly, uh, cause they are just, uh, they're pretty fun little figures. Um, it's a pretty fun little thing. I, I very much enjoy it and I'm happy I got it. Uh, I have been on the wait list for, it's been over a year that I've been waiting for this thing because I ordered it uh, from Dorkset as soon as they went up. And uh, it's been a while, but I think it's been worth the wait. Uh, I don't know if it'll creep into my top 10 of 2021, but it's possible. I'm going to try and have that video up soon. I'm going to wait till after Christmas because I may be getting a few things that are on my wish list there. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But uh, hopefully you guys like this. Just a little uh, look at this. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did or if you didn't, you know, comment, like, subscribe. Um, 
you know, check me out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. I've been doing a lot of customizing stuff lately. That's been my main jam. Um, but this has been fun too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And until we meet again, thanks for watching and happy collecting. Bye.